Well, here we are on Valentine's Day, and our message to you is this. Marriage Marriage is is hard. hard. All right, is that good? It's a wrap. Video's done? All right, cool. See you next month. Sometimes it's not easy to love your spouse. In fact, in my own experience in our marriage and through counseling others, I'd say it's very often not easy to love your spouse. And what I mean by that is it doesn't come naturally. When you first start dating, you're so caught up in infatuation with uh, rose-colored glasses that it's easy to feel love and act that way towards the other person. But what happens when the infatuation is over and we're called to keep loving this person day after day after day? Joe and I have been married 12 years and we have eight kids, just in case you think these baby faces aren't speaking from experience. And I love what 1 Peter says. In this passage, he's addressing slaves, but then he carries it over to both husbands and wives when he says likewise. This is what it says. For God is pleased when Conscious of his will, you patiently endure unjust treatment. If you suffer for doing good and endure it patiently, God is pleased with you. For God called you to do good, even if it means suffering, just as Christ suffered for you. Just like with Facebook or politics, wives, you won't win your husbands over by nagging, arguing, or yelling. In the same way, God calls us to a gentle spirit of service. We don't serve our spouse to get them to do what we want them to do. We serve them because it pleases the Lord and we wanna be just like Jesus. And the coolest part is that when we serve our spouse like that with no strings attached, allowing God to pour into our identity instead of expecting our spouse to carry our identity, that's when we'll see changes in our marriage. Paul gives us more instruction in Galatians 5. Husbands, Love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And also husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Now calling us to love our wives as Christ loved the church is a tall order. I mean, he was persecuted and put to death by the very people that he was loving. That's a very humbling way to love another person. And with our spouse, loving them in such a vulnerable way Uh, possibly with nothing to gain in return, can be terrifying. But this is our roadmap to truly loving each other, and the end goal isn't to be happier, although that will 100% happen. The end goal is to grow closer to Jesus together, and in turn, grow closer to one another. Loving each other with the love that Christ first loved. I've prayed for several marriages this week that were struggling here at LifePoint. And I wanna tell you that if you're a believer and you're struggling in your marriage, don't believe the lies that you're alone in what you're going through or that you can't be honest with other believers. We come together to pray for each other, to carry each other's burdens, to support each other. If you're struggling in your marriage, you're not disqualified for coming. And in fact, I would encourage you to come and share. We would love to pray with you. So this week, pray and ask God that you would exhibit the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. When you choose to focus on loving each other in the same selfless manner that God loves us, that is when you will see true change in your life.